Dude, what do you do for a living? So how much money do you pay rent? I get to your place. Oh wait, this is a YouTube video. Let's get back on track. I invested $9,000 in my income really fast. So if it was like last year, I only made about $16,000, which is not a deal, but it was a business expense. I have a hard time putting a title on myself because it feels like, yes, I'm technically self-employed, but I'm also kind of fun employed. I see photography video as like a passion, as a hobby, but I just somehow turned into a side hustle for me, which is great. My business and my income is nowhere near full-time, and I actually don't want this to be my full-time career. The bulk of my money comes from weddings and it's seasonal for me. It will be really dry from January to May and then until summer hits, so around June up until around late fall is where I get most of my wedding gigs. I also do some portraits and graduations here and there. The reason why I had to spend $9,000 on my income was that I had to upgrade my cameras and my equipment. I felt like I outgrown the camera I had before and my skills got much better so it was just about time for an upgrade. So it wasn't like an impulse decision or anything like that. Also when I shoot weddings, they're like a special one-time moment, right? So having two cameras helps me shoot weddings more efficiently for photography and for video too. An extra camera can serve as a backup just in case my primary camera gets messed up or something bad happens to it. You can definitely get away with shooting one camera, but having two cameras on the wedding day uh, gives me peace of mind. Being a freelancer, I set my own time and schedule, which is like a double-edged sword. I have to keep myself accountable or else I won't be able to do this. Yeah, I gotta keep it trendy on my soul. I'm the most selfish person that I know. Here we go down the road. Honestly, go to the gym, it's a lifestyle choice. I think of it as a commitment. I go five days a week, Monday to Friday, uh, and I take the weekends off. I got a really good deal during Black Friday when I had to renew my membership at Crunch, so I pay a flat rate of $99 every year. My biggest recurring expenses aside from camera gear would be my subscriptions. I have Adobe, um, Artlist, Epidemic Sound, Squarespace from a website, just a bunch of things. So all those added up would be about $164 a month. Since it's summertime here in Portland, I do want to play more tennis. I played on a tennis team when I was in high school, JV for one year and varsity for two years. It rains a lot here in Portland, so playing tennis year round doesn't really, it's not ideal. So if I really want to play tennis year round, I have to pay for an indoor court. A lot of my tennis friends that I used to hit with in high school don't play anymore. So I go out by myself and serve. Um, I think serving is really fun, but it would be nice to have a hitting partner. <sighs> Now, I'm not shooting or editing for work. I spend time creating content for TikTok and slowly try to be more consistent with my YouTube channel. I listened to the Colin and Samira podcast and one of the things they said about YouTube was this. So number three, what I've realized, you're not working on a YouTube channel, you're working on yourself. Like so much of this process mm -hmm. has been about self-discovery. Mm -hmm. When I heard that, I was like, wow, like that really makes sense. I think I could really relate to that. Creating content for YouTube, I'm working on my speaking skills, talking to the camera, talking in public, learning new ways to film my content, trying out new hooks and strategies. All of this is part of discovering myself while progressing my skills so I can make better videos over time. For food and expenses, I rarely go out to drink or go to social gatherings. I actually never had my first drink until I turned 21. I do feel like I live under a rock in my own city. I actually don't have a lot of friends I could just hit up anytime, you know? So that's probably why I just don't go out uh, often, especially on the weekends. So I recently started to go to Costco food courts. They have cheap prices for hot dogs, pizza, and chicken bakes. I think it's a life hack if you live near Costco and you're on a tight budget. Definitely recommend if you want something fulfilling, cheap, and good. So I spend about $50 a month on food. A lot of that savings is living with my parents and eating at home. I help pay for the internet bill for the house, which is about 30 bucks a month. And since I live with my parents, I don't need to pay for rent. Asian culture in general, and especially my Chinese parents, they want me to live with them so they can still take care of me. If you can live with your parents while you navigate your adult life, I think it's gonna save you a lot of money and resources, so why not? I do like going out by myself or with a friend to grab food, usually Korean, Chinese, or Thai food. Having a bed next to me while work is hard too. I could easily hop onto my bed and take a nap or just chill on my phone, which is dangerous and not always the most productive thing to do. So in the future, I definitely want my bed and my workspace to be separate. Growing up as a kid, my parents always tell me to save money. Don't go out to eat, you can eat at home, don't need to buy new clothes until you outgrow them, don't spend money on video games, we have TV. So I feel like growing up in that environment with my parents really helps me not spend my money recklessly. 
I don't drive too much around the city, so I will refill my gas tank every three-ish weeks, which costs about 70 bucks a month. I don't have any debt, which is nice, but I do have $1,200 in student loans. It's a funny story with my student loans. I took the money to buy camera gear and travel essentials for my study abroad trip back in 2019. Uh, it was a trip to South Korea. When I graduated in 2020, I was praying to Biden that he would pass the student uh, forgiveness loan or something like that. But it looks like it's not happening, so I gotta pay off my student loan soon. <sighs> Damn. So my main focus for this year and moving forward is trying to be a full-time content creator. I really want to make it on YouTube. I didn't have any access to TV shows or networks besides the free ones you get when I was a kid. So YouTube was literally my entertainment since I was young. I also have 144K followers on TikTok but my TikTok views and engagement has been really low the past few months, which is honestly discouraging. But I gotta keep it up and not let the viewership get to my head. I have to start saving for insurance too, because I think apparently when you turn 26, your insurance gets cut off from your parents. I really want to be financially stable so I can support my parents. They sacrifice a lot for me and my siblings, especially my dad. Like he has a lot of leg pain just from working in restaurants and standing all day for a long time. I don't take living with my parents for granted at all. So that's why I'm trying to work as hard as I can as if I have a full-time job already. I'm always shooting or I'm always editing. I'm just always doing something. It's not the matter of if I can make it, it's the matter of when. So that's the mindset I have to manifest into myself and truly believe that I'm gonna make it and reach my goals. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and take care.